Welcome to a more in-depth look at the Enhanced Search tool for the Lincoln County Interactive Zoning Map. At this point, I am just fresh into the map and have already hit Agree on the splash screen. Uh, to start an, a search, click on the binoculars at the top that's labeled Enhanced Search. There are three different layers that you can search from. You can search by parcels, you can search by subdivisions, or you can search by roads. Each one of those layers has options that you can search from. For the parcels layer, you can search by ownership, by tax ID, or by subdivision. For this example, I will type in um, Lincoln County uh, and do an ownership search for the parcels layer. This has identified all of the property owned by Lincoln County within our county. I can scroll through the results window here on the enhanced tool and each one I click on will zoom right to it or I can click on this new in search results window at the bottom which allows me to look at things in a table view. I can click and scroll through these and it syncs with this one up here. I can click on any one of them and it will zoom right to that property. As I also typed in Lincoln, I'm also getting other things like South Lincoln County Fire District or Lincoln County School District Number 1 or others that maybe have Lincoln County within that ownership field. Each one of those can be uh, selected and zoomed to. It's important to note also at this time that if this is the results that you would like to save, you can click on this export button. By default it will export to a CSV file which is something that can be opened in a spreadsheet or you can export to a tab delimited text file. Either way you click on export and it will ask you for a prompt you for a location to save. If you're tired of this going up and down you can always uncheck the auto hide and this window will stay up the whole time that you are in using the map. Now let's do another search. I will clear the results from this search and I will do a parcel search but I will do it by tax ID. Now it's important to look at the example and see that you can edit it, you can list it um, with the dashes in it, with uh, no punctuation or with the dot zero zero at the end depending on which format you have um, that has been given to you. I will search for this uh, tax ID number which will give me the two properties that are owned by Lincoln County where the new Justice Center will be built. Either of these can be clicked on and zoomed to as I described before. The next search that we will do will be a subdivision search. Subdivisions can be searched by the name of the subdivision, by the permit number assigned by the planning office, the receiving number which is the number for the plat it, that's when it's filed in the clerk's office, or that plat number if it has one of those listed. At this point I will search for Alpine and try to get all the subdivisions that have Alpine listed in the name of them. As you can imagine there are several and here are the results. You can be scrolled through and click on any one of them to zoom to it and see the information that is listed here. You can also link to the plat uh, by clicking that at the end of the table. Now let's do another search. This time we'll do a search by roads. Um, please also look at the example. This is how U.S. highways are listed, Wyoming State highways, county roads are listed, and also just uh, names of roads. I'm going to search by lake to see all the roads that have lake in the name. As you can see, there are several. Lake Trout, Blue Lake, all these will be able to be um, cycled through and zoomed to and this is the information you could get uh, within the search results that could be exported also. I hope that helps you to be able to use enhanced search to your benefit. Thank you.